Today I will show you how you can really easily create those 2D or more popular flat landscapes in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Today we will have something completely different on the menu. I'm really thrilled about this episode because we will not deal with retouching or photo manipulations, we will deal with some drawing in Photoshop. Some basic drawing that will be really easy and fun to do. You will learn how to create those interesting 2D or flat landscapes in Photoshop and basically only limit its your imagination. So without further ado, let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and we will start with completely blank document. If you are wondering about the size, it's 1211 by 1625, resolution 72 pixels per inch. It's completely relevant. It's just vertical, uh, vertical page, vertical blank paper, and that's it. So now we will start with some interesting drawing. But before we start with the drawing, I want to address one thing. The landscape that we will create will have some colors. So today we will create the landscape in monochromatic colors. That means that we will use just one color and the shades of that color. So different brightness and different saturation of the same color. But of course you can do that in multiple colors. You can, you can play with the color theory. You can use, instead of monochromatic, you can use maybe analogous or triads or uh, complementary colors, whatever you want. And if you're not familiar with the color theory, please watch my episode about that. You can find it right here. And here in Photoshop, if you want to choose the colors for monochromatic or triad or uh, whatever, you can go to Window and then Extensions and choose Adobe Color Team. And this is Adobe Color Team Wheel and uh, some swatches here that you can hide or show. It's really easy. So. I just uh, put those two together. So that's why I'm showing together, not separately. All right, so let's put it here. And with this, you can go right here and choose the rule. Now it's monochromatic. You can choose triad, so you will have triad colors. So different set of colors, as you can see, the colors that really nicely goes together and you can change different shade of those colors. You can choose complementary, so opposite colors on the wheel spectrum, etc. But today we will choose monochromatics and we will deal basically with just one shade of the same of the same color. And of course you can go to the explore tab and search online for different teams that are really nicely built together but by other users or you can just search by keywords, maybe desert, right? And you will see some interesting colors that goes nice with some desert teams. So you can do that, you can click like uh, on these three dots, edit this team and you will have it right here and you can play with that. But today we will not deal with this color wheel because that's a little bit more advanced and uh, requires a little bit more time. So for all you guys who are familiar with the uh, Adobe uh, color teams with that color wheel, then you're free to play with it and choose any colors you want. But for other guys who are not familiar with that, today we will do something much more simple. We will just choose one color and play with that color. All right, so I will close this because we will not need it right now and I will just choose one color. So as you can see, this color is nice. This is just some kind of uh, reddish, yellowish, orangey type of color and I will choose the first shade. So I will choose really dark color like this and press OK and that's it. But before we colorize something, we need to draw something. And for drawing today, we will use just the lasso tool. Maybe some brush, if you want, you can use a brush too. But I will show you how you can do that really easily just with the lasso tool. So press this to create a new layer. And now I will use the lasso tool, press L on a keyboard and just draw first part of the landscape. But before I do that, I just want to show you in the front what I want to do. So let's use a harder brush smaller size like this. And guys, I want to create something like this, right? Some part of the landscapes right here, then some hills right there, and maybe even more hills, something like this right here, etc. even more right here, and some mountain right here, etc. some sun, and here it will be like a wolf, like this. 
it's just the silhouette of a wolf and that's basically this is what we will create maybe some clouds behind the mountain and that's it so just for your reference to see what i will do i have my picture in my mind so i will just do by that but if you're not sure what you want to create then you can draw some guidelines like i did here and then to draw on a new layer over the top of it so i will not do that i will delete this layer and create uh, start with the new blank layer so press l on the keyboard to choose the lasso tool and then start somewhere here and just freely with hand just create some kind of this shape maybe something here and like this oops and this is good that i made a mistake and purposely because maybe it will happen to you so you need to close your pack like this and whatever you're doing then you need to go all around to the start and then you will close your pack now i will fill it with this color there are several ways how you can fill the layer i will press alt and backspace that's the fastest way for me but you can use here a paint bucket tool and just click that so that's another way or go to layer and just fill new layer fill with solid color that's it so several ways to do the same thing in photoshop so i will uh, do it like this and maybe maybe i want to make this a little bit higher so i will just draw another one and just fill it like this and that's it as you can see this is it now i will create a new layer but new layer below the current one why because i want to add another part of landscape but behind this this is our front part of the landscape so to create a new layer below the current one you just need to press ctrl or command key and click on the new layer that's it so now i will create some other shape for the landscape something like this maybe right and just go around like this and then i will choose another color so now when we want to choose a different color but with the same uh, from the same uh, color but different shade of the color sorry then you just need to go here to the brightness from hue you have hue saturation brightness and just make it a little bit brighter you can see the difference between the current and the new color and maybe i will desaturate a little bit so just like that and press ok and now just fill it with another color press ctrl command d to deselect and that's it i'm done with this so now let's create another new layer uh, control and click on the layer to create it below the current one and just continue with this so just draw whatever you want here like this you can always change this layer and then i will go another little bit brighter i want this saturated this time like this that's cool and maybe i want this to be something more more like this okay that's nice okay and then a new layer again control and click and create a new layer just somewhere here so something like this maybe here and then choose again brighter color than the previous one like this and that's it as you can see we have some layers of uh, landscape background so this is our front this is our back and it's looking lo looking really nice we can layer tweak those colors a little bit if we're not satisfied i will show you how you can do that with the curves or hue and uh, saturation adjustment layer whatever you want and now i want to create another layer control click to create a mountain so to create a mountain i will i will create something like this and this is it this is my mountain and i will fill it with again a little bit brighter color like this and i can move my mountain if i'm not satisfied with position i can press ctrl command t to make it bigger or smaller etc i can maybe move this a little bit here maybe like that and then i can press ctrl command t to move this to the right and that's it now we can tweak this a little bit more maybe i want to select the mountain and just make it wider a little bit and to change the shape this is just something that it's optional if you're not satisfied with the original look you can 
do something like this. But this is this is this is cool for now. So if you're not satisfied with some colors right here, you can go to any of these uh, parts. And for example, this one I maybe want to make this one a little bit brighter. So this is it. I will just sorry. I will just press Control or Command M and just make it brighter. See with the with the levels really easily. But I just want to make it brighter a little bit, just like this. And maybe the mountain, maybe I want the mountain to be a little bit more saturated. So I'll press Control Command U and I can add saturation if I want that. I don't want that in this case, but just for you to see a lot of options, how you can change and tweak those colors. Right, now the next step. The next step is to add a background because I don't want to have a white background. So again, Control and click on new layer and use a brush, press B on the keyboard to uh, use a brush tool, then press Alt or Option key to sample the brightest color that we used and then make this, this color while you're on B here on brightness even brighter like this and then fill it, fill the background with this. So now we have completely monochromatic look of this scene. We are not done yet. There are a lot of things here to be done. Uh, not too much, but they're easy like this was really easy too. So now, now let's create a sun. To create a sun, it's really easy. I will just go at the top here, create a new layer and just go to Marquee Tool, choose Elliptical Marquee Tool, press and hold Shift. That's it. Now I will choose even brighter color all the way up like this and maybe I will desaturate it. So like this and just fill it. So this is my son, not like my son and daughter, but son, like you get it. Okay, uh, now let's do some shading here. So this will be really easy and fun too. Let's start with the mountain. So let's go all the way down and let's create a new layer above the mountain and clip it to affect only the mountain. To clip the layer to the current layer you want to clip it, just press Alt or Option key and click in between those two layers and that's it, you're done. Now again, lasso tool and because the sun is coming from this direction, I will make some brighter parts of this part of the mountain. So just go right here and just draw something like, like this. It doesn't matter if you go outside because it will affect only the mountain because we clipped and then choose brighter color than this color is. So to choose this color, B for brush tool, Alt to sample the color and click and then just choose brighter color than this. So I will choose a lot brighter color, maybe this one, let's try. And this is cool, maybe a little bit desaturated. So I will go right here, saturation and desaturate a little bit and then fill it. And as you can see, we have part of the mountain right here. Maybe I want to add a little bit more here and just fill it, just play with this. You can always erase, hide, do whatever you want here. So I will add some more parts here like this. Maybe I will add a little bit small one here, just like to have impression that there is some other parts of the mountain that the sun is hitting on those peaks up. So this is it for now. Now let's go to another one right here. I will not deal with this one. Maybe I will deal just with just with this one here. So let's go to our cliff here, as you can see, and create new layer, clip it to affect only the current layer, use the lasso tool. And because the sun will hit this side, I will just create something, maybe, maybe something like this, just here. And then I will again choose this color and make it a little bit brighter. So I want a bright version of this color like this. And this is nice. I like it maybe to add a little bit more here. Fill it and that's it guys. Just need to play, fill, fill this with other color, etc. If you want to make this brighter, you can always go here, press Control Command M to lower levels, or actually curves, and you can make this brighter or darker. But I'm satisfied with this. So I will do the same on the other side. So maybe, maybe somewhere here like this and fill it. Then maybe somewhere here. Just play with this. It's completely up to you. Now I will fast forward because I will do 
some other things here, the same, exactly the same technique, but for other parts of the background. And I don't want to waste your time. It's completely the same. Just choose the color, make it brighter, choose the lasso tool, do your thing and fill it with the color. So see you in a couple of seconds. Alright guys, now I want to try to add something more here, just a little bit here, okay, and make it even brighter than this color is, so it's even brighter and more desaturated, just to add that peak, just to have that variation, maybe I will just make it a little bit darker than it is, just a little bit like this. And yes, I really like it just to have a different variation. And I'm done. We are, we are almost done. That's it. Now we need to populate this scene with some trees. And there are two ways how you can do actually more than two ways, but two ways that I will tell you today how to do it. One way is you have if you have a newer Photoshop CC 2000, I think from 17 or 18, I'm not sure. Uh, then you can uh, go to filter render and render some trees and use that tree to create a brush out of the tree and then just brush brush on the landscape it's really easy fun and fast another way is to go online search for some trees make the silhouette out of that or just search for a tree silhouette and again make the brush that i will show you how to do it and then just brush that landscape and you're done so let me show you that i will go and uh, create go to filter and then go to render and you can see I have three but before that I just want to create a new document for that so I will create maybe 2500 by 2500 blank document right here and then go to filter render and tree and now I need to choose which kind of tree I want to have there are a lot of 32 different trees here guys you have even a palm tree bamboo you have different things so I will uh, choose this redwood so why not doesn't matter all those options doesn't matter because we will make a silhouette out of this we can just play with the branch thickness if you want but i will leave it like this you can just modify the tree but we will leave it something like like this and i will press ok and then as you can see i have it on the background i don't want that so i will undo create new empty layer and press uh, Control or command f to repeat the procedure and that's it now let's make a silhouette out of this. There are again several ways how to create silhouette. Maybe easy one is to just press Control or Command U and just move the lightness slider all the way down and that's it, you have a silhouette. Now what you need to do is to go to Edit and Define Brush Preset and just name this Tree Brush. Okay, and then you have it. You have a tree brush, you can change the color, etc. So it's it's really easy, let's change some color, let's make it darker, so we'll make some trees there. If you're uh, using an older version of Photoshop and you don't have that render tree uh, option in filters, then you can just go online, find like a silhouette of a tree, put it right here and then again you have a black tree on a white background, go to edit, Define brush presets, etc. Make sure that for older version of Photoshop, you don't have your document larger than 2500 uh, 2, pixels on a larger side. So newer version of Photoshop uh, will allow you to, allow you to have a brush uh, like 5000 pixels on a longer side. So make sure to remember remember that. All right, let's go back to our document right here. This is not our document, but we will we will use this wolf later. So right. Let's go back here and let's change some settings on the brush. So I want to press F5 on the keyboard and go to brush tip shape and make the spacing a little bit higher. So actually wider. And then I want to go to shape dynamics. And if you're using a tablet with a pen, with a pressure sensitivity, then you can control the brush size with a pen pressure. So that's cool. I'll show you really quickly. Let's start here create a new layer above this one okay and then just choose this color and you can see if I'm pressing softly I will have smaller trees if I'm pressing harder I'll have bigger trees so if not you can set this to off and just uh, move the size reader a little bit up so you will have 
different version of trees each time. So it depends of, of the size jitter, but this is how it is. All right, nice. So I will use this to control my pen pressure trees with the pen pressure. That's it. I don't want size jitter like that. And that's it. Now let's populate the scene with some trees. Let's let's go here. Maybe maybe add some smaller trees like right here. You can see it's really fun. You just need to draw some some trees here and there and and that's it. Maybe you can go and add some scattering if you want just to have offset on the X, the X is here. So you can do that too, just an option. And now when you're finished with the trees right here, let me see, maybe one here and maybe smaller one, not so small, but like this and maybe like this right here. And uh, just a second, maybe, maybe one here or run run here something like something like this and then we are done with this part if you're satisfied how this looks then you're done if not you can just erase and then because it's on a separate layer then go and add some trees on a different layer so let's go down below and create a new empty layer for the tree use uh, choose a brush tool and alt to sample the color of that layer of the background make the brush smaller and just populate here like this and that's it so I don't want to go too much up so I'm satisfied how this looks then I will go right here create a new layer for the next and then I will again sample this color and just draw some tree make brushing smaller I don't need it actually because I can make really small trees with lighter pressure on a tablet or really big so let's just add some some trees right here uh, maybe some variation like like this not just too much like like this okay maybe add some here And now guys, let's create another layer about this one. So about this one right here. So let me just check. We did that, sorry. So we need just here. And here I will just create another layer, sample this color right here and just create even smaller ones, smaller trees here and there. like this just brush some trees in and this is all that you need to do let me see now this is looking really really good so we are basically done now what we need to do to add that wolf and to add some clouds and some shading you will see a little bit dodging and burning but just simple one so let's go and find the wolf it's here i will just copy it and paste it right here and make it smaller like this I will put it right here but I will make it a lot smaller like this and rotate to fit to fit the ground this is like so I will leave it like this and I will make some new ground right here so let me see this is this is good enough and now let's go here sample this color and choose a brush whatever brush you want i will choose my my square brush this is the brush that i just made a square you can see just draw a square fill it with black and just define brush preset it's really really easy so i will just add ground right here this is cool so this is nice this is our wolf but wolf do, uh, don't need to be black so i will just uh, select the wolf let me see here is the wolf yeah okay i will put it all the way up 
and I will press Ctrl and click on the wolf layer to select it. Then I will use a brush and select by Alt this color and then fill the wolf with that color. And also I will create a new layer, clip it to affect only the wolf and use the lasso tool and then do the same same thing for the wolf as you can see that I did later uh, that I did earlier so I'll sample this color fill the wolf just to add that shading just a little bit maybe this won't be visible maybe just right here actually this this probably won't be so visible because it's really small and tiny yeah but why not let's add it so if this is a larger file then this will definitely be more visible but like this it's okay just to have it i know that it's there but actually right here you cannot not see it at all maybe this wolf is a little bit smaller let's make it tiny bigger like this and that's cool so we have wolf light right there and now let's add some clouds so i want to add some clouds below behind behind this mountain and uh, i will go all the way down where the mountain is so it's here create a new layer below that by holding control and click on that and then i will use my cloud brush guys to create a cloud brush it's really easy to create a cloud brush if you're not familiar how to do it you can go and watch my tutorial about the cloud brush right here or you can go to my website and just uh, purchase one for one dollar my set of those cloud brush that I'm using right here. So you can choose whatever you want. I will go and choose my cloud brush. Let me see, let's use this one. This one is cool, so let's make it bigger. Yeah, now let's choose the color. Let's choose really bright like this one and just make this smaller. I will use maybe 40% opacity or so. And maybe even brighter, but we can we can brighten that that right now by lowering the saturation. We'll have like a brighter feel. So this is cool, and I like it. Now I will do the same thing with this cloud brush. Actually, I will choose another. Maybe I'll choose this one because it's more like a dust. And I will brush in between those mountains. So I will go like uh, first. Let's between the first and second one. This is first. And this is second one, so just in between those two, I will just brush it a little bit, maybe 10% opacity, just small variation of shading here. Then I will go between the second one and the third one and just brush it slowly here, like some kind of mist down there. And then I will go here and just brush it right here, just a little bit, okay? And that's it. So maybe then I can go right here where the sun is and sun is here at the top. Let's name it sun. Okay, and I can add some clouds. Actually like more like variation of the color for the background. So like the sun is in some kind of haze. You can see maybe to just change some colors and paint here and there, I can change the brush. I can use this one because I really love this brush, but 10% opacity, just just low amount of opacity. And then maybe even darker color. And we can play with this. We can even erase some color here and then add it again, maybe 5%. And that's it. So I can lower the opacity of this if I don't like it, but then I can go to sun and maybe make the sun darker a little bit. Just a tiny darker and maybe I can... I'm now pressing Control command M or Control command u to get to hue and saturation. And just change the color maybe towards the yellow a little bit more. And just a touch. And adding a saturation and that's it guys. So we are done. We can just position the sun wherever we want maybe somewhere here or even if we put it all the way down like here then we can play with can play with this and just go sunrise sunset 
do whatever you want but i will go with the sun all the way up because of those clouds that i made and that's basically it we are done with this now you can rearrange some layers group it etc and uh, you can just go i'll just group layers i will go with the mountains and all the way down to the last one right here press Control command g and name this landscape so this is the wolf cloud sun everything is cool and now what you can do you can add a new hue saturation adjustment layer at the top and you can really easily change the colors this is cool guys you can you can have like uh, this is a moon you can make it more saturated less saturated you can even go to that sun add a layer mask and then with a re uh, elliptical marquee to just just add a mask somewhere here, fill it with the black, and then you have a moon. And that's it guys, we're basically done for today. As you can see, this is really fun and easy to do and you can create any kind of landscape that you can imagine. And you can even create some buildings, some maybe uh, like a ruined city or whatever you want. The beauty of all of this is that we are dealing just with silhouettes. So you don't need to be really good in drawing, you just need to draw some kind of silhouettes and that's it. Or you can just go online and just download some silhouettes and draw over over them just trace those silhouettes make it a little bit different and then create your own our artwork so you can change whatever you want you can change the colors you can add multiple colors as i explained in the beginning etc so a lot of fun creating this type of artworks in photoshop you can do exactly the same in illustrator if you're more familiar with that so it's completely the same procedure because we are dealing just with the silhouettes right guys that's it for today if you have any questions regarding to this episode please leave them down there in the comment section below i will be more than glad to answer them and if you like this episode if you appreciate this content press that like button down below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and ring that bell to get notified about all the future fun episodes and guys if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by supporting me via my patreon page the link is down there in the description and you will get some things in return have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode bye bye